the first coverage we're going to talk today is a form of specialty coverage. So we're going to go over some of our specialty coverages. These are coverages used for third and long, for third and extra short, for um, in certain parts of the field like the red zone. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is our two-man coverage and some two-man variations. And the simplest two-man coverage we play is called TAN. Okay, TAN is a five-man underneath two deep man-to-man -man defense. Okay, five underneath defenders, two deep half defenders. Okay, and all underneath defenders are playing man-to-man. -man. Because this is a deep, this is a, a two deep defense, our leverage needs to be on the inside trail. The inside trail technique, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So our corners align in what we call bump man. Corners align in bump man alignment. Okay, that means they're going to align head up to slightly inside of their number one receiver, head up to slightly inside of num their number one receiver. And they're going to be as close to the ball as possible, what we call credit card alignment. So instead of lining up one by one, inside or outside, they're going to play head up to slightly inside as close to the ball as possible, hugging the football. Okay? They're going to play a technique we call bump man, wherein the release of the receiver will determine my leverage. So if the receiver releases outside of me, okay, I'm going to stay inside and on top of that receiver. I'm going to try to cut him off. I'm going to try to cut him off. However, if the, re if the receiver releases inside of me, I'm going to play the outside trail. The outside trail. So in our bump man, what we're doing, is based on the release, we're going to determine how we want to play our man-to-man. -man. There's no inch, which we'll talk about later, like in Meg or in, in, in most of our man-to-man -man coverage. There's no inch out. So our guys are flat-footed, um, pounding the ground, and we're trying to get play an aggressive uh, jam on the number one receiver. Okay? So the leverage of the receiver and which side he releases will determine the leverage of the corner. Our safety, okay, our safeties will, and our, and our linebackers, so our underneath defenders, okay, are going to play inside and underneath trail technique. So inside in the trail, inside in the trail, okay. They're going to align, they're going to align five to seven yards off depending on down and distance, okay, five to seven yards off depending on down and distance and anywhere between inside shoulder of the number two, to, they can line up almost three yards inside, okay? So anywhere between inside shoulder to three yards inside. The biggest thing is they got to deny the inside. They got to deny the inside, much like when we played hammer, which was man match cover two, okay? They need to make sure they stay on the inside trail of the receiver. <laughs> okay, you cannot allow an inside release. We'll talk about inside trail technique later when we get into our technique deal about DB coverage. Okay, DB coverage technique. But in terms of schematically, we want to be in the inside trail and between one to three yards. Okay. We are trying to stop those inside breaking routes. Whoever has whoever has the back. Whoever has the back, the mic, the will, whoever it is, will line up usually over the center. Okay? He'll be anywhere between five to seven yards off the ball. You can, you can performance align him, meaning you can align him tighter if you want to show blitz. If you don't want to show blitz, you can line him deeper. It's up to you. However, he's going to line over, end up over the center. Okay? He's going to line up over the center playing the back man to man. Our safeties will use this very similar cover two alignment to hammer. Okay, they play what we call a deep half principle. So if it's a twins, a twins formation, two split receivers from the core, we're going to play 10 by 2 inside that number 2, unless he gives us a really wide split, and then we'll go to about an apex alignment, but we want to be about 10 by 2 inside that number 2. Okay, at the snap of the football, I'm going to get width and depth, trying to midpoint in between the number 1 and the number 2, playing a 60-40 rule. 
60-40, meaning I'm 60% on, 60% leaning towards the number one, 40% leaning towards the number two. It's the opposite of the midpoint rule at the corner. Okay, and cover three. I'm going to vision the number two while visioning the quarterback. Okay. If number two is out, I'm going to snap my eyes to one. This is a deep half principle, so it's the same as hammer. I'm going to snap my eyes to one. If one gives me an outside release, I'm going to get on top of him right now. If one gives me an inside release, I'm going to start to slow down and look to play a robber style technique, a robber style technique on that number one receiver. So he gives me an outside release, I'm on top right now. He gives me an inside release, I'm going to slow down and try to play robber technique and start to build the fence. Okay, start to build the fence like Rob. Okay, if number two goes vertical, I'm going to midpoint the one and the two with the 60 40 rule. And if number two goes inside, I'm going to vision the quarterback. If number two goes inside, I'm going to vision the quarterback. I am now a true free player, deep half defender, visioning the quarterback, shrinking and expanding on the quarterback's vision. Okay, so it's the same deep half principles as we did in our <coughs> hammer coverage, our, our, our man match cover two, okay? If we had a pro set, so if we are, I'm, I apologize, a flanker set, if we had a flanker set, so let's say he's off the ball because this guy's on the ball right now, the will's still going to align inside leverage, any, anywhere to inside shoulder to five, uh, three yards inside, five yards to seven yards off. The weak side safety will now align ten by one. Outside the number, outside the number two, who is going to be in the core? He needs to get the 14 by midpoint, just like he did uh, in our hammer principle, playing deep half with the same reads, the same reads as before, uh, in out of vert. Okay, in out of vert, using a 60-40 rule. If if we got one split receiver, so we just have a split, the weak safety will line anywhere between an, an apex alignment to over the near side guard, depending on ability and down and distance at 10 yards, okay? So if we need width right away, or we feel like he's not as good, we'll line him up wider. But if he's a better player, we'll line him up over that guard to make it look like we possibly could be rolling in the middle of the field. We could possibly go into the deep half. Either way, it's the same rule. I gotta get to uh, uh, an apex alignment at 14 yards at this point, midpoint of the tackle in the number one. And now all I do is vision the quarterback because there's no number two to look at. The last scenario in terms of alignment would be if we got a nub flank. If we get a nub, if we get a nub flank, okay, the corner will now play outside trail leverage, okay. 5 by outside shade to 5 by 1 outside trail. Okay, there's a different technique we can use, which we'll talk about in a moment, but that's the base way we play it. And now our, our safety, our deep half safety will start over the center. Our deep half safety will start over the center. And now, okay, now he's going to pedal almost straight back. The reason being is we don't need him over the deep half to the weak side. We need him to stay on the center line, okay, because it's like we took away the field over on this side. The deep half has moved, all right? The same deep half principle holds true for the free safety as it does the weak safety, okay? The only difference is the free safety may get a number three receiver, okay? In this case, it's a reader call. So let's say we had a number three, okay? If we get a number three, The Mike linebacker would take the three with the same leverage as the strong safety. And where the outside shade with five yards of cushion to, to three yards inside with five to seven yards of cushion, corner still in bump man, head up to inside shade. Now the free safety will start in, in a, a 10 by one to 10 by apex alignment between the two and the three. At cadence or at the snap of the ball, he's gonna get width and be, again, 14 by midpoint, 14 by midpoint in between um, the two and the one, ring two to one. All right, it's really important to understand who we're trying to help in this coverage. This coverage is not good. This coverage is not good for three on the vertical. 
This coverage is meant to help one and two. Okay? Particularly, it's more to me help, meant to help number one than it is the number two. So if your corners aren't as good on third down, all right, then two man's a good variation to have. Two man's a good coverage to have. It's more help on one than it is on number two. Okay? If you're on third down situation and you feel like you need to help in the slot more, then I, I, I prefer to play cover six, man match quarter, quarter, half. Okay? Now, there are some variations I want to kind of talk about. Okay, when it comes to playing this two-man coverage, the first one is when we get one split receiver weak and we feel like we can handle the backside number one receiver. So if we feel like we can handle the backside number one receiver, we will lock this side and play poach. Okay, we talked about poach earlier, so we will lock and play poach. These guys are all still playing tan, so we're playing Rita Tan, and they're going to call lock, poach, poach. All that means, the will still has the back no matter what. The weak safety is my poach player. He's using that same post technique we talked about before when we talked about some of the cover four variations. And so he's going to read off the three. If the three is vertical, he'll play him man to man. Uh, okay, he'll play him man to man. If three is not vertical, you can do one of three things. Okay, you can do one of three things. The first way to play it, if three is not vertical, in or out, okay, is to double number one. Is to double number one. That's the first way to play it. Okay. We'll talk about the different techniques later, but suffice to say, if you're going to do this, then you need to you need to make sure that you're pedaling either at a 45 degree angle to be able to read that number three or you're not moving at all which means you got to play more over the center okay if you're going to try to come back and double the number one if three is not vertical all right the second way is if three is not vertical we're going to spin in the middle of the field so now what we're going to do is we read three he's not vertical now he's spinning in the middle of the field okay we're still poaching so three is not vert three is not vert he's in or out now we spin in the middle of the field. We spin in the middle of the field. This is really good because it keeps your middle of field concepts alive with the weak side safety. You don't have to teach them anything new, right? When you do this, you shuffle, shuffle, shuffle at a 45 degree angle, vision in the three. If after those shuffles, he's not vertical, now I just run, get to the middle of the field and play my middle field coverage, just like we normally do vision the quarterback, okay? Um, the last way to play it, is to say that we're going to poach three and we're going to read three to two to one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to shuffle. If three is not vertical, so if three is vertical, I got him. If three is not vertical, I'm going to get my eyes towards two and work towards two. If two is not vertical, I'm going to get my eyes towards one and work towards one. If everyone is short, now I can vision the quarterback. If everybody is short, now I can vision a quarterback. So now we're approaching three to two to one. Three to two to one. My preference, and in, in, in when we're playing tan to the front side of this poach, is to either play him as a middle field defender or have him double the backside number one. Okay, or have him the backside number one. I like the middle of field defender because it's something they already do. They already play a lot of middle field technique. So it's easy for them to teach. They shuffle, shuffle. If three's not vertical, spin in the middle of the field, play middle field safety. Okay? Play middle field safety, middle field rules, which we'll talk about later. Okay? It's really good when you know you can handle the backside number one. We will always lock it versus a nub. So we will lock it and play poach versus a nub. Okay? The reason is. The reason is, there's no reason unless this guy's just Johnny Badass to du be doubling the number one to the nub flank. Okay? There's no reason to be doubling the number one to the nub flank. And even if you want to run the post technique where if three's not vertical, he takes the number one, he doubles the number one, that's a really easy leverage thing for him to do. He doesn't have to move very far to double the one or double the three. Okay? 
It gives you the ability to help a middle linebacker. Now, keep in mind, we tend to, we'll tend we talk about game plan in terms of sub packages, but we tend to make this guy uh, either our cover linebacker or a safety, okay, a nickel player, okay, which for us would be a, a dime guy, okay. However, right, it gives us the ability to double that number one receiver man-to-man, -man, okay. So that's one, one of the variations of playing two-man. When you play all two-man, play all two-man, it's a man-to-man -man coverage, so in our system, we always run with motion. In our system, we always run with motion. So if I got a guy man-to-man, -man, I will automatically run. Does not matter who he is, <coughs> I will run with motion. Okay? I will always run with motion. I will always run with motion. Okay? Now, what a... Uh, we need to talk about how we handle stacks and bunches. We want to handle stacks and bunches, okay? There's two ways that you can handle a stack. Two ways that you can handle a stack. The first way, the first way to handle the stack is to play lock and level to play lock and level. We'll do this when we know that we have a will linebacker, okay, that we need to make sure we play on the number two. Now, our goal is not to have the will or the mic in the game. So one of these players, whether it's a will or a mic, will be a defensive back, okay? However, if you get a situation where you have to play two man with a, a, a linebacker, then you want to play lock and level, get on different levels, okay? What we prefer to play is our stacks technique from cover six. So we prefer to play our stacks technique with, in cover six. So what we do, okay, we play in and out, okay, between him and the will. Remember, he's probably going to be a DB, all right, so they're going to play their in and out rule and he will play the leverage of first break. Or what we call a stacks technique. Okay? This is a really good one if you have a defensive back type player at that will linebacker position. Okay? Uh, a, a defensive back player at that will position, that, we, that will linebacker position. Okay? The final thing we got to talk about when it comes to, to the to weird splits is bunches. If we get a bunch of any kind, okay, you get a bunch, we will play traffic still. However, the linebacker, whoever the linebacker is, will be on the point. So in this case, it would be the Mike linebacker will stay on the point. The corner and safety, they will play the in and out. They will play the in and out, okay? Free safety will play on the deep half, okay? Free safety will play on the deep half. So again, Mike or Will linebacker, whoever you decide to put on the point, they will play on the point. You do not play, okay, them in the in and out unless they're a defensive back, okay? Unless they're a defensive back again, we expect one of these dudes, hopefully both of them, to be defensive backs by personnel. Well, personnel. Okay? Now, another two-man variation I would like to talk about, all right, is a concept versus two by two and three by one called Cougar. Sorry, we're gonna, yeah, Cougar and Buster. Cougar and Buster, okay? Cougar and Buster. Cougar is done to twins receivers, okay? Cougar is done to a twin side, is done to a twin side. The corner will be off at five, uh, seven to nine yards off, one yard inside leverage. 
Okay, corners will be off seven to nine, one yard inside leverage. Safeties will have our, our overhangs will have the same alignment. Five yards off, five to seven, usually about five, and they'll be anywhere between one or inside shade to three yards inside. The safeties will keep their same alignments, 10 by 2 inside of twins, 10 by 2 inside of twins. Okay, back linebacker will be able to center. The middle linebacker has the back man-to-man. -man. We take three man-to-man. -man. Okay, again, this is Cougar. All right, so this will be a Rita Cougar. The corner is reading two. The corner is reading two. Okay. He's going to be in the half turn position. If he's at seven yards, he will shuffle. If he's at nine yards, he won't shuffle. He'll just freeze and wait for him. And he's going to read two. If two is out, he will trap the flat. So he will become a flat defender. Two's out, he's going to trap it right now. Okay. If two is not out, he's man on one. Okay. So if two's on the vertical, in this scenario, let's say two's vert, he's man to man on the number one receiver. Playing man to man on the number one receiver. Okay. Our will and strong safeties, our overhangs are playing cut on two. They're playing cut on two like hammer. So they're going to play two up and inside. If two's out, they're going to cut the one. They're going to play two up and inside. If two's out, cut the one. Our safeties are deep half defenders. So they use their deep half principles. Okay? So all this is is a combination of playing cut with the read on two by the, or I'm sorry, what we call hammer. Okay? But cutting on the number twos with the read on two with the corners. It allows you to play off but still track the flat versus quick game gives you better leverage on the wheel because it's one of the issues when it comes to two man is leverage on the wheel okay and it, it allows you to play better leverages after the switch but playing a two man variation not a cover two variation okay so that's cougar buster is the same thing to three receivers so buster is the same principle to three receivers. So now we're playing Rita Buster. Okay, Rita Buster. So the corner is going to be seven to nine yards off, one yard inside. Backside corner, we will be in our tan principle. Okay, so we will be in tan unless we get a twins or a three receiver side. Strong <coughs> safety. He's going to be the same two man alignment. Mike Linebacker will be in the same two-man alignment to reiterate five to seven yards off, anywhere between inside shade and three yards inside their receiver. Corner seven to nine yards off, one yard inside. Okay, the corner is going to read off two. If two's out, okay, if two's out, he'll take him right now, trap the flat. Okay, if two isn't out, he will now play man-to-man -man on number one to 15 yards, so he will man turn into one to about 15 yards, and then he's going to roll over. He's going to roll over, okay? By rolling over, he protects against the deep out of two, okay? The sail flood concept. This is fantastic to play in the flood concept. It's really good for playing the comeback by number one as well because he's going to stop at that 15 yard mark and turn around expecting either come back by one or corner by two or three. Okay? So he'll roll over about 15 yards. Right? It'll change week to week. But he needs to make sure he man turns into the number one after reading off of two. Strong safety. Strong safety. Play cut on two. He has two up and in, two's out, he's going to cut the one. Okay? The Mike is man on three. Mike is man on three. Mike is man on three. If you get tight splits, 
between two and three. Right? So tight enough splits where you feel like we don't want to play it this way. The strong safety in Mike Linebacker, okay, will play who's hopefully a, DB, uh, a DEB, will play in and out, okay? They will give a you call, a you call. That tells the Mike Linebacker, you, 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 we're playing it like in and out, okay? We're playing it like in and out. So now we're playing in and out, and he's still playing the cutoff, the final number two. So we're going to play the in and out principle right here. Okay, so three goes out. I'm going to go man to man two. He becomes the new two. I'm going to now go cut the one. The corner would trap the flat. Okay, the corner would trap the flat. So now you got that deep sail combination. Okay, he would go cut the one. You got your safety on the half. Okay, and now you get the Mike linebacker because he's here. He'd be here. He'd be there, and Mike Linebacker's going to be underneath that deep out wrap. Okay? So we make a U call when we feel like we got tight splits, and we'll play like an in and out technique. Okay? That's buster coverage. Okay? And then the two by two, the twins formation alignment is cougar. If you get a flanker set or you get a split set, we play tan. So if I get flanker or spit, I play tan. I play tan. You only play Cougar to two to twins, and you only play Buster to, to three receivers. Okay. So I can now take that Cougar and Buster, and particularly the Buster. And if there are three by one sets, I can play buck, poach on the back side and poach out the three. So in my opinion, the best thing you can do versus a three by one, where you feel like they want to throw the ball to the strong side, is to play Buster and poach because the corner's locked up man to man you can handle him okay and now I'm taking that weak side safety to help the Mike linebacker on three vert I've handled all the vertical threats I'm handling outbreaking routes by, by number two and number three and the hardest route in two man handles the sail combination will flood or sprint out and now I got leverage on that with the corner okay and so this, in my, my opinion, is the best thing you can do if you can handle the backside number one, okay, as a two-man variation, as a two-man variation, okay. So these are kind of two two-man two, two -man variations that you can run, Cougar and Buster, okay, and then we play Tan as well. If you get a, if you get a bunch in Cougar, I'm sorry, Buster, you play Traffic. There's no more Buster call. You play Traffic. You play Traffic. All right, so that's some two-man concepts, what we call tan, and some tan variations. What about a tray set? Tray set, it's played out the same way. So a tray set, as in this, or as in, like a tight in there. So tray set, okay, and Buster is played exactly like any type of other three receiver set. Doesn't change. Tray set, three receivers open. Doesn't change. We're going to play it the same way. We're going to play it the same way. Okay? He's reading off of two. Right? If two's out. If these guys are basically playing Cougar, and he's man on three. If they're tight, we'll play the U call, play the in and out. But otherwise, it's essentially saying U2 play U3, play Cougar, and you play man on him. Again, we expect this to be a nickel dime guy. This is a DB, or he's your better cover linebacker. And if you play with poach, now you really help him out on the vertical. Now you can really stay on the inside trail because the only thing that hurts you is the out by three. However, if you're getting that, then you probably should be playing some type of cover two over there. All right. So those are some variations of of two man uh, and, and two man variations that allow us to play uh, on third down. That's one of our specialty coverages.